Hello, and welcome to the Crane Worldwide Logistics News Podcast, Coffee with Crane. I'm Joseph Patrick. Well, it's looking like year-over-year growth in international air freight demand was evident on a global scale. Air freight rates saw an upward trend throughout January, and this boom is due to the Lunar New Year season and all of the implied complications this holiday denotes. Reports are coming in indicating a shift from sea to air freight amid the Red Sea crisis. Routes involving the Middle East and Asia were particularly influential in driving this annual growth. According to Crane Worldwide Logistics Vice President of Global Air Services, Christian Nielitz, when you put intra-Europe routes aside, positive trends of this shift from sea to air freight were observed across all other major trade routes. The Asia-Pacific's region slowdown has led to an increase in both demand and capacity throughout the Latin American regions. A lot of shippers have chosen to use air shipping instead of relying on the already troubled Panama Canal. We also saw that constrained capacity in India has led to drastically increased rates, and as a result, these sea-to-air solutions to the U.S. and E.U. have seen a spike in demand. This, of course, is due to the backlog throughout the Red Sea caused by the relentless Houthi rebel attacks. So how will this affect you? Well, keep an eye on rates and capacity stabilization, which may lead to reduced rates throughout the rest of the Asia-Pacific region. Remember to keep in mind that these rates will be going back up once the lunar festival season winds down. There's a whole lot more to this story, so stay up to date on important logistics news by going to craneww.com and signing up for our free newsletter. You'll be the first to receive all the latest market updates that can help you get your freight moving the crane way. Cruising over to take a look at the ocean freight side of things, we see that despite the rising tensions at the Suez Canal and dropping water levels at the Panama Canal, U.S. imports defied expectations and showed robust growth. Import volumes are up nearly 8% from December and up almost 10% from this time last year. And to further gild the lily, we saw that January experienced the largest growth since 2017. Other surprising growth is attributed to the rush to import goods from China ahead of the Lunar New Year shutdown. Chinese imports saw an expected increase, indicating the typical season trend, unlike the weak performances we saw last year at this time. In spite of this happy news, we've seen that the ongoing disruptions in the Suez and Panama canals still pose a risk to this growth as we move ahead. So how will this affect you? Well, as Crane Worldwide Logistics Vice President of Global Ocean Services, Gene Ota noted, as smaller shippers brace for higher rates, keep in mind that these escalating carrier costs can be negotiated, but it'll take a little longer than usual. So increased costs are being driven mainly by the Suez and Panama canals being compromised, so brace yourself for carriers justifying these increased costs because of these two major issues. And from the way things are looking at the moment, carriers' pricing decisions are being swayed mostly by the market uncertainty rather than the actual cost considerations. For specific and additional insights on these developments, head over to craneww.com and look through our Knowledge Center page. Well, in our final story, I wanted to look over at what the U.S. ground freight has been experiencing. Crane Worldwide Logistics Vice President of Business Development, Ike Nixon, has reported that nearly 80% of shippers said that their year-over-year inventory levels either remained flat or shrunk. When asked, fewer than 28% of shippers stated that they still have above-target level inventories. Well, this means that most shippers can look forward to retailers restocking again. And many have stated that all of this restocking traffic will help to improve freight volume trends throughout the rest of the year. And when looking at all modalities, the highest priced ones are expected to be both parcel and less than truckload. And with rail freight getting back on track, more shippers are shifting volumes there to diversify their solutions. Rail pricing expectations have decelerated to the lowest point we've seen this year. Now, finally, two-thirds of people surveyed said that they expect truckload capacity to tighten up as the year progresses. If this holds true, it'll lead to the highest levels in three years. Now I want to know what you think. Air, ocean, and ground freight solutions are growing, but what do you think is going to help this positive growth continue? Let me know in the comments section below. Well, that's all the news I have, but I owe you a fun fact about people who have made a difference in logistics. Rodney Earl Slater started out his career by serving on the Arkansas Highway Commission. He eventually became the Federal Highway Administrator, and President Bill Clinton recognized his hard work and appointed him to America's Secretary of Transportation position. His love for logistics led him to creating the Technology and Transportation Education Program to help prepare youth to become the future of the transportation workforce. This program has now attracted millions of people to logistics careers over the years. So thank you, Rodney Earl Slater, for your contribution to logistics greatness. Remember, before you go, please give me a like, share, follow, comment, and a five-star review. It's a quick click for you, but for me, it means everything. So, until next time, I'll have a hot cup waiting right here for you on the next episode of the Crane Worldwide Logistics News Podcast, Coffee with Crane. Goodbye now.